Welcome back. I just thought I'd do this quick instructional video for you. Uh, a question that I keep hearing being asked a lot of the times and a question I'll get asked a lot myself and it's how to use and set up a drogue. So we're just going to pop one in the boat today and set one up and show you how to use it. Um, first of all, quick talk through the drogue. So this is a Witchwood competition drogue, this one. Um, and as you can see, I've replaced the ropes on either side with nice strong drogue ropes. And either end, they've got a little clip in the Caribbean on either end. This is just because the original ropes that this came with um, have since worn out and broken through use. Um, so I've replaced them now. As far as length of drogue ropes go, these ones here are between 10 and 12 feet long. I think they're actually closer to 12 feet long, but importantly, they're both equal lengths. Um, with the length of the drogue rope, you don't want it too short. Otherwise, what you'll find is the drogue won't set properly, especially in a big wave. Uh, the drogue will tend to ride the wave and won't dig in. And the opposite with the two longer uh, drogue ropes, the drogue gets dug right into the wave um, um, and it doesn't respond as quickly to changing w wind direction. And you find the boat and the drogue going in two separate directions and it causes a lot of jerky responses. So between 10 and 12 foot is absolutely ample. What I've also got here as well is a set of clamps set of uh, uh, G clamps, these are just four inch standard G clamps bought out of uh, 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 Wix or B&Q or wherever you want to go and I've drilled one end here and I've put myself on uh, again a carabiner and just a little D lock on, a little D bolt on there as well just to lock it all up and this will, the reason for this will become evident when I get in the boat and start showing you the, the three ways to use a drogue. So let's pop all this in the boat and uh, have a row up the lake and uh, get this all set up for you. The idea behind using a drogue is it uh, slows the drift of the boat and it also helps to steady the drift of the boat. It helps to stop the boat yawing from one end to the other, which is uh, essential when you've got two people in a boat and you both want to fish your water. So the first way you can anchor a drogue is by having the points fixed at the center point of the boat and usually on the on the row lock and that's both of the uh, the drag ropes fixed here in the middle of the boat it's as good a way as any to have it the drag will open up but what you're going to find is this boat will tend to pivot on this point here okay so you're going to end up with the wind changing direction slightly the boat will be turning and the drogue won't turn with it and you're going to end up with this effect with the drogue yours from side to side and it means you're going to get a constant drift where the boat is going left and right and left and right it's a very uncomfortable way to fish so the preferred way to fish is by fishing with two fixed points okay and we'll just set that up and i'll show you what that looks like now this is the uh, fixed points drogue okay two fixed points so we've got a g clamp here and we've got a g clamp here as evenly spaced as we can along the boat and i've separated the two drogue ropes and we've attached them to one end to the other and you can see here how it's opened up the drogue okay so this means the drogue's got a much larger surface area where it's sitting there and it responds quicker to the boat it keeps the boat steadier as the wind's blowing off one end to the other because you've got more of a surface area there it tends to turn a lot less if I want to adjust the drogue with a fixed point drogue, um, should I be drifting bias the stern of the boat or bias the point of the boat, the, uh, the, the front of the boat, uh, all I need to do is reduce or extend this drogue rope here just by bringing it in and putting a wrap around the handle or two wraps around the handle which will shorten this side and it will make it pull quicker this side and vice versa on this side. So it's an easy way to tweak the drogue to get it to move how you want it. The third option is a sliding drogue. This is the sliding drogue. So what I've done is I've used the carabiners at either end here and I've just threaded the rope through, my drogue, drogue arms through on both sides. So they're both threaded through on both sides there and I've joined them, the drogue ropes in the middle there. Okay, so this gives you the same spread of drogue, it gives you a nice wide spread of drogue. But what it allows you to do is it allows you to tweak the drogue, to tweak the drift, uh, to make the boat drift uh, uh, truer. So you can make very, very slight adjustments just by simply by pulling this end or pulling the other end. It shortens one arm, lengthens the other arm, and it will just make the boat travel in one direction or the other. It's also a good way of adjusting the drift uh, and adjusting your drogue so you can drift 
up next to structures or obstacles or weed beds or close to a bank when the wind won't quite allow you to do it. By tweaking this and by shortening one side or the other, it will pull the boat round and it will actually allow you to drift at a slightly different angle to the wind. Um, I find it very, very handy. This is my favourite way of setting up a drogue. And I know a lot of guys that I fish with, they prefer to fish with a, with a sliding drogue as well. It just allows for very slight adjustments. It's a very fair way to fish in the boat as well. You don't have to have the clamps set miles apart. It's, it doesn't matter where your clamps are set because the adjustments are made here. Very simple, very straightforward. Now, quick little video just to show you how to set up and use a jogue. Hope you appreciate that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please click like, click subscribe. Subscribe's free, just means that you'll get notified of my videos as they come out. And uh, any requests, anything you'd like to see, just give me a shout and uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, see you soon from a lovely looking Chigborough Fisheries.